Hello guys, we will be looking at the roll number feature that have come with Fedina 3.4.1. So roll numbers are unique identification numbers assigned to the students at the time of admission or after the admission. And roll numbers are unique only to students within a batch. This means no two students of a batch can be assigned the same roll number. So to assign roll numbers, we have to go to administration and settings. And here we have general settings. And here we have this option to enable roll number for students. We can check it and update it. So this option will be appearing in Fedina 3.4.1. And when you do that, you will get a link here. When you go back to configuration, you will get this link of manage student roll numbers. So here we can assign roll numbers to the students. Now there are two ways in which you can assign the roll numbers. The first way is you can use custom import and admit all the students. So this is the general way. This is the normal way that we use. We can admit all the students and then come here and assign roll numbers. So this is the first way. Use custom import, admit the students using the template that you have and come to this option of configuration and go to manage student roll number and we can assign roll numbers. This is one way. Another way is we can admit each student and on admission I'll be asked to fill a field called roll number. So we can assign roll number to each student while admitting. So these two options are there. Let me show you the first way. Now let's assume that using custom import, I have admitted all the students in the normal way that we have in Fedina. Now I will go to manage student roll numbers. And here I'll be selecting the batch to which I want to assign roll numbers. Now when you open manage student roll numbers for the first time in Fedina 3.4.1, you will be asked to select the sorting method for the roll numbers. So as you might be aware, roll numbers can be assigned in any sorted way of admission number, the first name of the student or the last name of the student. So this is the first screen that you will get. This means that you can assign roll numbers to the students of a batch sorted by their first name or sorted by their last name or sorted by the admission number. So the way you want to assign the roll numbers, you can select one of them. Now when I got this screen, I have selected first name to be the sorted method. So that is why when you see here, it shows me stu sort students based on first name, although it can be edited at a later point. So now here, I'll be selecting a batch in which I just used custom import. So let's say that batch is grade 4 that I have here. And I'll be clicking on view batches. So when I view the batch, I can see all the batches here and the roll number status to be not set for the first time. So I can set roll numbers. So when I click on set roll numbers, you will see that all the students of this batch that I used or that I've already admitted will appear like this along with their roll numbers. You can see they are sorted by the first letter of the first name. So we have the roll numbers here. You can edit any roll number for any student. Also you have an option to set prefix of the batch or the course. So let me show you what that means. Currently the roll number that this student will be having will be 001. For the second student, 002 and so on. But I can prefix the roll number to identify the course and the batch of the student as well. For example, I can go to manage student roll number here. I can select the grade again. So let's say this is the class which is grade 4. I can set roll number prefix here. For this course. So I'll click on set roll number prefix and give the roll number prefix 
So let's say it is G4, denoting the students belong to grade 4. So like this. And now when I click on view batches, and when I set the roll number for any batch, you will see it automatically comes prefixed by the course roll number prefix. Though I also have an option to edit this for this particular batch. So for this particular batch, let's say this batch is section A. So I can mention a roll number like this, a roll number prefix like this. So all the students will now be having G4A001, G4A002 and so on. And these roll numbers, if I apply the roll numbers, they will be up, they will be shown everywhere in Fidina, starting from the reports to the fee receipts that you generate. So let me show you a few places where I can see them. So when I see the batch details, so that was the batch which is grade 4. So this batch here, you will see that the roll numbers appear like this. Not only here, if I go to the finance section and I generate the receipt after collecting the fees, I will be able to see the roll numbers in the receipt as well. So the roll numbers will be available to view in all the reports and everywhere else along with the admission number that we have in Fidina. The login functionality does not change here. So the students have to log in using their admission number only. So this is how we can do the roll number settings in Fidina. Be tuned in for more videos.